Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders, pushing this truth in our sincerity, you know, the, the true doctrine. Shalom to the hopeful elect. You know, the, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh in the Hebrew, and the name of His Son, who everybody called Jesus, His name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. That's the language they spoke, you know, in the Bible times, you know. You know, in the land of Israel, the Israelites or the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans today. You know, and basically, we're here to speak, to speak and teach the truth. Basically, you know, I was watching um, a video from one of the apostles of Great Millstone. And, um, you know, it's basically talking about, well, at the moment so far, you know, going on talking about the Revelation 13 verses 16 which is the M-A-R-K of the beast, you know, and most people should should hear about that before, okay, and a lot of people believe it's different things, you know, you got, you know, um, you know, you got some people believing it's the Christian church, other people believe it's, you know, it's sin, but I came across one specific comment, and that's, what I want to talk about in my video. So the comment is, okay, is from Ebo Zion. And the comment says, you know, it's a second comment. It says, I have heard that argument that the, you know, the motb, you see there, the M-O-T-B is sin too. Your rebuttal is an excellent point. I've also heard people say not observing the Sabbath is the MOTB. Now, I think it's best, you know, if I suggest, you know, that you you watch this video, if you can. You know, I'll leave the link in the description. And, you know, it's very edifying, you know, it really, from what I've seen so far, you know, it's going to go into the breakdown of what it actually is, I think. But, you know, basically, um, rebutting, you know, false claims about what the MOTB is. You know, I've just watched the video. I really got into most of it yet. I'm going to continue watching it after I finish this lesson. I just wanted to do this lesson, you know, before I forget. So, basically, the comment says, I've heard that argument that the MOTB is sin too. Your rebuttal is an excellent point. I've also heard people say not observing the Sabbath. Is the MOTB right? And now these claims that are being made about not observing the Sabbath is MOTB is false. It's completely and utterly not true, because the scriptures never once stated that. Okay, the scripture never once stated that. You know, the scripture never once stated that now i'm going to actually go into the scriptures the exact verse this is revelation 13 verse 16 and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads okay now we said and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, the first point I want to make is that the Sabbath was only given to the Israelites to observe. You know, the Sabbath is basically we work six days and on the seventh day is a day of rest. No work or server work should be done in that day. But according to this scripture, it said it caused it caused it all. So everyone on this earth, right? Everyone on this earth, right, will be, you know, given the MOTB to take. We know that the elect aren't gonna take it. You know, the elect of Israel, the chosen of the Israelites, are not gonna take it, right? But he said, and he caused it all, but small and great. Who's gonna cause all? To take it right who's gonna do that the heathens you know 
the elites, the ones that are running the world right now, they're the ones that are going to push the, push it, this thing on everyone. So you're small, great, rich, poor, free, or born, no matter where you are or who you are, you're going to be forced, right, to take something, right? If it was the Sabbath, it would only be for the Israelites, because only the Israelites, only the Israelites were given the Sabbath to observe. The laws were only given to this, the Israelites, not the other nations. So that's what we know. That's the first reason why we know that's a, that's a lie. Okay, I'll continue. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right? So you're going to receive a mark in your right hand or in your forehead. Right? Now we we'll look at the meaning mark. Right? Look at the word mark. Look at the meaning. It says, a scratch or etching. A scratch or etching, right? I.e. stamp as a badge of servitude or sculptured figure. Graven mark. A stamp and imprinted mark. Of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of you know, the Antichrist. You know? So, it's actually an actual thing. Because it said a scratch or etching, right? Look at it again. It says, um, a stamp, an imprinted mark, you know? So it, we know that it's it's an actual mark that someone is going to receive in the right hand or their forehead, right? Now, before I get to the next verse, right? We know that the New Testament was, was written in Greek, and the Greek word for mark, right? The word that's there to replace mark when it, in the Greek is karagma. It's karagma. And if you look at the definition for karagma, it means an incision. Okay? Okay, so if you look at the word mark again, yeah, it's a graven. Right? Graven. So, right, look at engrave. Before you write engrave, I'm going to write karagma. Okay, see what comes up. Right, karagma etymology. Yeah, it says the classical Greek word karagma translated as mark. In Revelation 13, 16, can also mean any mark engraved, imprinted, or branded, right? Engraved. So, I'm going to use the word engraved, okay? And engraved, engraved, yeah? Let's see what it says here. A verb, cut or carve on the surface of an odd object. Well, it's an odd object. Cut or carve. Cut. So we know the word engrave is cutting. Right? Cut or carve. So we know that it's something physical. Right? It's something in physical. Because your skin is going to be cut and something is going to be... It's an incision. So something is going to be put inside the skin. Or inside your head. Right? So we know for sure... Um, We know for sure that it's not... The, 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 the not observing the Sabbath is a physical thing, right? He said, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, right? A karagma, a cut, an engravement, right? In their right hand or in their forehead, right? And that no man might buy or sell. Before we even move on, let's see where he says, so a mark, right? The, R, the RFID. Right? The word for mark is karagma, which means an incision. Okay? So, we understand and we know, yeah, that there the, is a physical thing. And it, us in this truth, we know that the MOTB is the RFID. You know? The CHIP. You know? Verses 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark. 
So if you don't get this mark, this engravement on your skin, on your hand, uh, in your forehead or any part of your body, you won't be able to buy or sell. So it's a physical thing. Without this thing, you won't be able to buy or sell, make transaction or nothing. It has nothing to do with not observing the Sabbath. If you do not observe the Sabbath, that does not enable you getting a mark. It does not enable you buying or selling. Right? Because I know, I know, I don't know if they're trying to use, because, you know, um, on the Sabbath, you know, they say we're not supposed to buy or sell. Right? So I don't know if that is what they're, they're using, you know. I don't know if that's what they're using to say, oh, we're not supposed to buy or sell. So there has to be, have something to do with that. But if we read it in verse 16, we see that it's the word mark. We see that it's actually a, a physical thing because it's an engraved an incision. Right, and if you ain't got this engraved or incision, whatever they're gonna put, you know, inside of you, you won't be able to buy or sell. So how can it be not celebrating the Sabbath? How can it be the Christian church? How can it be sin? It cannot be sin, because we know that the elect are not gonna take it. You know, and also, you know the. The, the apostle, you know, goes way deeper. So like, yeah. The apostle and goes... Receive. The apostle goes way deeper into it, you know, so... You know, you can click on his channel. It's here. I'm going to put the link in the description. And you can, you know, watch it. And get more information and more edification, you know, so... With that, I'm going to say our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, Bashim Kodash, the learners unto the apostles and the elders. You know, when I'm learning this truth. Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.